Welcome to our channel Blender Tips. In this tutorial, you will learn that how we can create this beautiful simulation by using particle properties and uh, how we can make these object, this box, this plane and this pipe and how we can apply the materials uh, to these objects. So in this video, you will learn that how we can create this beautiful simulation by using these properties. So let's start video. First I open the blender, select all and delete everything. Press shift A to add a plane and scale it. Enter into the edit mode by pressing tab and press E to extrude along z-axis and press 3 for face selection and select the upper face and press delete and delete this face back to the object mode and uh, in modifier I apply solidify modifier and increase this thickness as you want nice and apply this modifier now press shift a to add a curve path and rotate this path along y axis 90 degree press 1 for front view and press G to move this path something like here and enter into the edit mode of this path and in curve properties I select the geometry and under the geometry I have an option bevel and increase this depth value to make this path like a pipe beautiful now select this point and press G to move this like this back to the object mode and uh, press shift A to add a plane and scale it nice now I add an object like a, a UV sphere and uh, move it along X axis also make it shade smooth and scale it down nice press shift D to duplicate and again press shift D to duplicate and then again another copy we apply uh, these three UV sphere having different colors and this UV sphere act like a emitter particle from this pipe so press 1 in front view and move this UV sphere in the front of this pipe and also scale it down and fit something like here nice now in I apply particle properties to this UV sphere enter into the particle setting here I apply a particle and we seen that here a particle meter particle is assigned to this UV sphere here are the properties of this particle setting and if I run the simulation the particle are emitted from this UV sphere and I want these particle are emit from this pipe in the direction of x axis 
for that i apply some velocity to this particle along x axis and also use these three different particle emitted instead of these default spheres so for that i change the settings of uh, the particle properties for that i also change the number of emitted particle here i select 500 and the frame start of this particle is 1 i remain same and uh, the animation of this timeline is 250 by default so i also change the end of this animation is also 250 and the lifetime if we run the simulation the particles are disappear here and not falling down because the lifetime of these emitted particles are 50 and when the timeline uh, when the particle emit from first frame and the timeline is an 50 frame then the particle emitted at first frame is disappeared i want these particle emitted throughout the whole simulation uh, simulation 250 for that i change the lifetime of the emitted particle say to 50 nice and now in velocity i apply some x axis velocity say 3 meter per second along the x axis so if i run the particle uh, before applying this velocity fallen down and uh, now the particle under the action of gravity and by applying the velocity uh, then the particles are uh, move somewhat along x axis and then fallen down under the action of gravity say like this we can also increase 5 to some more along x axis nice beautiful now in render section i select rendered as object and select one of this uv sphere now this uv sphere emit from this emitter instead of default spheres now the size of these emitted uv spheres are too much small we can increase the size by using scale something like this as you want in the case of default emitter object we cannot change the scale of the uv sphere beautiful and uh, i cannot see this uv sphere in rendered so i show emitter i deselect this and now in rendered this uv sphere is not visible and now in physics uh, the physics type is newtonian and i choose here the fluid now the stream of particle are emit from this and i also uh, apply the collision property to this object because these emitted object collide with this object so if i run the simulation then the uv spheres are emit and collide and also some bounce from this to reduce this bouncing i increase the friction of this particle and now the particles are inside this box beautiful and now i want to change some field 
of these particles like in advance and also uh, select size deflect and in advance these are the different option and uh, when i look at these particle these particle all merge with each other so for that i increase some interaction radius to give the spaces between these particles something like this so by applying this setting i also apply same properties and uh, select the other uv spheres so hit the plus icon button and here i type 500 increase some randomness and uh, also the end of this frame and also the lifetime and the velocity along x axis 5 meter per second and the type physics is fluid and here size on deflect and uh, in rendered as select object and now select the second sphere beautiful add another particle system and make the changes like a second particle system after applying all the particle setting now i apply material to these objects for material i enter into the shading view port here i select this and apply the new material and change the color of this material like a green and select this and also apply some material like yellow and add another material say blue material by applying material to these three balls uh, the three different colors of ball are emitted from this pipe nice now i want to add some material to this pipe and uh, this box and also this plane for that i enter into the asset browser i have many material in select i select material and i apply some metal material to this pipe say this material beautiful nice now i apply some brick type material to this box for that i have an brick category from here i choose a brick type material something like this material now i apply the material to this plane for that i apply this material the size of uh, these bricks are too much bigger 
for that i enter into the shader editor of this material here i select mapping and uh, change these values and also along y axis beautiful now back to the timeline and run the simulation nice so in this way you can easily create the this beautiful simulation by using particle physics properties and uh, applying a material to these objects and also apply material to these uv spheres thanks for watching